Bloodborne, 100% challenge, PS Plus free play. Now, I am attempting to 100% Bloodborne while it is free for PS Plus subscribers, which is essentially the month of March. This is my second update, and having to get more grip to the game, I am much more prepared. The first video was a travesty. I really was I really wasn't prepared for the game at all. Now I am much more understanding of what the game needs to be played properly. Um, so from when we left off at the at the end of the last video, I decided that the first thing I would do is go straight back to the first main story boss. Uh, Gascoigne and kill him now I had a plan I knew roughly what to do and where to go but I hadn't played the game for a couple of weeks a couple of days I hadn't played the game for a couple of days so I decided I would give it a go Have a, I knew that it would be a couple of deaths for me to get to grips with the controls again and get back into the, the, the feel of it turns out I didn't need that because I killed him with my first try and I wasn't recording which is of course what happened but I managed to get the achievement pop there it is and you know I was genuinely surprised that I was able to do that the music box really makes him stumble enough to just blitz attack so that was what I did I then kicked in the lamp I then had a look round and was able to push through into the cathedral ward but first I was able to find this red trinket which was part of a mission that I already had for a little girl the girl who gave me the music box. There it is, you can see it down there. So I just jumped down, red jeweled brooch, and I know who that's for. So I just continue through, find a chest, and I'm able to now use the blood gems. The thing is, um, I, I, ch I did I did some research on the achievements, just to see what if there were any that were missable. Because I want to make sure that I want to at least try and get as many as I can. My first go through, because that's kind of makes a lot a lot of sense. Other than that, I haven't really looked at many of them. I know that, other than the names, I know that a lot of them are boss related. And I wasn't sure when I would need to record. So I've tried to record everything. I think this week I only missed one achievement pop. If I'm being honest. So I've come through into, and what I've tried to do as well is I've tried to leave a little bit in just to kind of show where I am in the story. Just so you can kind of keep track of kind of how I'm doing. You must be a hunter. Very so I met sorry. this guy. The incense must have masked your scent. Good. Good. And he's cool. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. 
The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. And you see, that was really cool because I already knew of a woman that I'd spoken to who said she wanted somewhere to go. So one of the first things I do is go straight back to finish the two... Well, I say finish. I don't know if it's going to finish them or not, but I went straight back to talk to the woman who wanted somewhere to go and the girl to return the brooch. Now, the fact that it's given me a choice feels like maybe there will be another place or two that I'm yet to unlock. But I'm going to set up... This place seems fine, so I'm going to send it to here now, whether it's whether there are other places or not. And then from here, I'll go and see the little girl and return the brooch. Now, obviously, research is research. You know, you can look things up to see what's going on. I looked, I, ha I have since looked this quest up to see if this was the end. Because I found it interesting that once you return the brooch, you don't really get anything back. She just, she's just upset, as you would expect. So I do now know what that I didn't have to give her the brooch essentially I could have chosen to keep it so in the cathedral ward um yeah but I, you know it's fine I'm fine for her to have it it's not a problem but then I go to the cathedral ward and here in the cathedral ward there is a small church where I discovered someone one of the first people to not attack me that's just in the wild you're a beast hunter aren't you i knew it that's precisely how i started out oh beg pardon you may call me and i found alfred protege of master Ligarius, hunter it's weird that he's bloods. talking to me from behind so what say you and I'm slowly burning his his back. I'm slowly burning his arm. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? But yeah, why not? Oh, very good. I'm not sure what would have happened if I had said no. I haven't looked that up. I don't care. Take this um, but to celebrate our acquaintance. Believe me, I am thankful that he has joined me because the next He's thing I thought I would do from here. Practice is I uncover a secret passage way. here, which I don't go in straight away. Instead, um, you see, this is me searching in the passage, and there I get a, a gemstone, which gives me my first blood gem. Um, so I then think, well, should I carry on? Or should I, ca or should I not? So I, I don't bother. Instead, I decide that I'm going to go back and try the Celestial Beast because I've beaten Father Gascoigne. And on the way, I discover that I can now summon Alfred. This is a fantastic thing because pretty much every single boss has a summon by it now. And I don't know if that's the insight that has made that happen or whether it's a combination of the insight and talking to Alfred. But he didn't have to go, didn't he? I mean, there you go, look at him attack this guy in a wheelchair. Look at him. Wow. Calm down, mate. It's a bit overkill, don't you think? So I'll take the bullets, why not? I do love that weapon he has, but it's so unwieldy. I'm just not a fan. I find I'm very much sticking with my axe. I love my axe. I have just that's that's been the main weapon that I've been upgrading, and that's the weapon that's going to be maximum upgraded. And I'm getting there. 
but it's definitely my my go-to weapon at the moment. Now, I didn't want him to aggro the werewolves that were there, because they were tough. So I just run over here and hope he's followed me, and he did. In you go, mate, go on. You're gonna go and deal with them? Yep, he's just gonna, see, take you back. Thank you, Alfred. Oh, he got in there. Okay. Now, obviously, this is the first time I fought a boss with him. At this point, I wasn't even aware that I could do summons like this. And it was fantastic. So, from here on out, you'll see a couple of boss fights in this video. I speed the boss fights up because you don't need to see them. I mean, you can watch boss fight videos from this game online everywhere. So, you don't necessarily need to watch these. But, what I do, which has worked so far, but I can feel it's becoming a bit of a, of a concern for me at the moment, is the problem I'm finding I use the summoned hunter as a tank they just go all out and pretty much drag focus of that boss and then I stand behind and attack until the boss is dead now uh, only once that didn't work, because the hunter died halfway through, you'll see that shortly. But, for the most part, that works. Plus, if I'm going all out on the boss, I'm able to, to back off and heal myself, because the other hunter is aggro. So that really helps, it really, really helps. Like I said, for the most part, the odd boss that I face now, in, in, in real time, is not working yet. So, that is a bit of a problem. But, there you go. Deaded. Lovely. I get the badge, get the achievement. Bye bye, Alfred. Thank you for helping. He disappears. And that's two achievements. Three achievements. So from here, I decide to attempt at fighting the boss of the Cathedral Ward. Now, at, at this point in the game, I had predominantly gone everywhere in the Cathedral Ward and gathered practically every item. So that the entire place was mine to roam around. I still hadn't gone down into the church where I found Alfred. I still decided not to go down there yet. And I decided to, to obviously, you could tell it was a boss because there was a summons right by it. So it was one of those things. The moment I saw the summons, I decided, yeah, I'm just going to start recording and see how it goes and now we get the crazy crazy in pain lady now this boss wasn't too difficult the problem with her was she hits hard and heals I found that by myself She just, yeah, it was it was tough. It was tough because a couple, of, just like two swipes and I was dead. Or I'd managed to get her down to like three quarters of her life and she'd heal up and only have a quarter lost. So it was tough on my own, but the moment the summons was there, because the summons isn't right by where the summons isn't right by where the boss entrance is, it's, it's just off to the side. So if you don't know where it is, then there's a chance that, you know, you could miss it. Yeah, this, that, that attack hurts. A couple of times, because I, I didn't kill her first time. See that? Just dead. 
I went from having almost all my life to dead. So I didn't fight her. I thought, no, okay, fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight her. I can't beat her. She's very, very tough. Instead, I'm gonna go and in inspect that little church where I found out from, because that's the other side of the wards. So I wandered over here, and I found myself into the old town. Now, obviously, I knew it was the old town because you can warp out. But you see this. The town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. Okay, goodbye. I'm not going to go then. I'll go back up. No, of course I don't. I'll go back down. I wanted, to, I wanted to make sure that if there's anything left in the room. Which I did. And there wasn't. So, I open it. Let's go see. Old Yarnum. No, nope, don't want to go. Too scared. But as you're wandering around, you hear this. Now, I couldn't tell you where this was coming from. I haven't got a clue. I could, didn't have a clue. I couldn't see anyone. There was no kind of vocal direction to know where it was coming from. So I had no clue. So I continued wandering. I went down there, but you can't get through. So I continued the path. You are a skilled hunter. And I carry on talking. Yeah, that my weapon of choice is my axe extended. That is definitely my main focus of attack. Oh. And that poison is going to cause me one of the funniest moments of this game so far for me. Um, in a minute, but you know, I'm, 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 I still haven't found who the voice might be from. So let's just carry on, because you know, I mean, you can't see it from anywhere. There's nothing here. There's no one around here. can't see anyone over there you know it's funny watching these videos back that there are so many times I should have seen stuff that I missed so I'm gonna go down here because there's clearly a little path here and I want to find the pathway that leads up and round which is why I must stop you and I'm like oh okay maybe he's down there then because I'm not sure where that's coming from maybe it's down there and he shoots me there he is He's up there all along. You little bastard. I saw you. I didn't see you. You were hiding. And he just keeps shooting, apparently. Oh, here it comes. So that wasn't fun. And I have to say, that gun hurt a lot. That was my first twin bloodstone. Because I had got to a point where my axe wouldn't upgrade anymore without them. Okay, so this was after I had found my way through the old town. I had to run through a lot of where the bullets were flying. But once you get underground, you are pretty safe. At this point... I had gone up to fight the hunter that was shooting at me and it is the hardest fight I have had out of anything in this game so far and that's talking real time it's the hardest thing I've fought in real time up to this point that I'm at in the game now but yes I could see this giant church in the distance so I started recording and I saw Alfred summon so I thought okay this is going to be a boss of some kind <laughs> um, it's not the story boss because I'm, I'm pretty sure the story boss is the girl monster in the church And again, this is this is uh, the actual boss battle itself will be sped up. 
so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and the first time I fought it, you can tell because there's no haze there. Now this is it's a fun battle, but this is the, the best moment ever in in the game so far for me. Um, happens at the end of this boss battle. So this is the Bloodstuff Beast. And you know what? It's not bad. It's not that difficult, actually. He's relatively slow compared to some of these bosses. And he's not big compared to some of these bosses. Because some of them, like... I think it was Amelia, the the, the girl beast in the in the big cathedral. She's big, and it's difficult to really get close enough to hurt her, but she is big enough to hit you. And that's the problem I'm having with some of the bosses in the game currently, is that they're just so large, I can't get close enough to hit them, but they can still hit me, and that's what hurts. But as you can see, my flaming axe is doing some nice damage. At which point, see, I, it becomes a bit scary because he's gone into his third form now, and Alfred doesn't do well. In fact, you'll see right here, he blitzes Alfred, and Alfred dies. There he goes. Now, I hadn't, he was so close to death. I shortened my axe and just went in for the kill. Keep an eye on the poison bar in the middle of the screen. Because I don't take notice of that. The prey's dead, yay! I got the chalice. So I get the achievement, yay, look at my life, look at my life. I get the achievement for getting the boss, yay, I collect, I get the achievement for the chalice, I wasn't it, and I died. And I lost 13,000 blood there. At this point in the game, that was a lot of money for me. But I went back and got it. I went back and got it. I was so amazed that I killed it after Alfred had died. And I was so amazed that I was able to do it on my own that I hadn't noticed I was poisoned. So then I respawned there and I noticed that actually that door's open. Which it wasn't before. So I have a look. Now look how closely... I come to standing on this button. At this point, I wasn't aware the elevator was here. Because I try to use the device and it doesn't work. I then walk onto the lift and just don't push the button. And I think, oh, well, it ain't working. I'll come back. And I did do a lot of wandering before I actually came back and used <laughs> this stupid lift. But I'd noticed these things in the dream. So I decided that now I had the chalice, that I would give a labyrinth a try. So I have gone in the labyrinth. I, I went in the straight away almost. And I didn't go back, to be honest. I didn't go back for quite a while. Instead, I decided what I would do, now that I've gone up a couple of levels, because I got my 13,000 back. I got my 13,000 back. Um, and there you go. I lost 16,000 in here, alone. Um, so I've gone up a bunch of levels, and I bought a bunch of equipment, and I had some decent um, bloodstones. I've got one at the moment in my axe that gives me an extra 7% damage or 10% if I'm fully healed. So that is my predominant one because that's a big increase. And I also realised that I can use the numbing mist to stop her from healing. That is imperative. Unless you're really levelled up, I don't think you can really beat her without stopping her from healing because it's just so hard. So again, I use my, my normal tactic here. Oh, throw the hunt, throw the mist. You gotta make sure you throw the mist. Is I use the hunter to tank and then I just blitz attack from behind. 
either powerful attacks or normal attacks, whatever I have. I don't like using items that much, really. I just want to blitz attack a lot of the time. Oh, she's going to heal again. No, she's not. Go away. And now just go for it because you'll see her life is really low. It was a much easier match that time. Get the gold pendant, and I get the achievement. Amelia. There we go. So that's another achievement done. And at this point, I pretty much had gone everywhere in the central town, in the old town, and in the cathedral ward. At this point, I had found that you can go to the left and to the right of the entrance of this cathedral to access new areas, but they were both very, very hard, and I die almost immediately. So I haven't gone that way yet. It's largely just, I know they're there, kind of thing. And now, for those who don't really know the story or the path of this game, I discover here the code that I need to get into the forest. See, I have this thing where I need to look. If I see a path, I have to go down it. If I see a gap, I have to go in it. I have to see what's where. And it's helping me find secrets and find a whole host of different bits and pieces. But it also means I take twice as long doing levels. Because I have to look everywhere when I see it. But it does come in handy. Because at this point, I then noticed that I could go up the elevator because I hadn't gone up the elevator yet and going up the elevator um, meant that I can then go into this area which was the old workshop in the old workshop I got communion which was an achievement that I missed that was the only achievement I missed which was annoying sadly but you get to the very top of the old work uh, of the old workshop and I get the Radiant, the Radiant Sword Hunter's badge. There's Dead Man. And then there's this big fancy doorway that you can't get in. This does help me later get another achievement that I wasn't even expecting. But it doesn't open yet. I, and at this point, it, me talking, I don't know how to open that door yet. I'm assuming I either come from it from the back or something else will help me to open it. But this hole intrigued me. Because as you can see, I killed an enemy down there. And he fell down and landed. At which point I thought, oh, well that's not too deep. Maybe I can jump down there. So I did. And it came to here. Now this is a very long hole which you can make your way down, you can drop all the way to the bottom if you're very careful and clever enough and you fight a monster that gives you another one of those things I can't use and access to a whole new area or if you're able to drop on this step again it's very difficult to find the pathway down but if you can get onto it you come through the door and you find the real abandoned old workshop and an achievement, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't realise this was an achievement at all. But it's discover the source of the hunter's dream. And it is. You can have a little look round. It is the exact same layout as the hunter's dream. It is interesting. Because technically I can warp in and out of here 
there is a lantern at the top which I light, but I don't know if it does anything other than leading you to the bottom of that hole, essentially. But I do do something here which is fun. Yes, I did just say do do. There was a chest over there. I wonder what that could be. Have a look. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, it's the doll's outfit. Okay, now you can't tell me the first time you get that you're not going to try all that outfit on. You've got to. You've got to see what it all looks like. Just turn to face the camera. I love the hat. Uh, there's the hat. It looks cool. And then the clothes. And then the lovely gloves. Fingerless gloves. And then the skirt. And there I am. Dressed just like the doll from the dream. Don't I look a doll? Don't I look lovely? It suits me, I feel. I feel it really brings out his, his cheekbones, apparently. Who knew? I look swell. Let's go monster hunting. I mean, it doesn't do great defense, so I don't bother. Also, in there is third umbilical cord. It looks important. I'm not. I haven't researched it yet. I'm gonna wait and see. I don't know yet. Now, as you look at the amount of money I have here, as you can see, I had sixty-six thousand money. I was able to get that by going several times through the forest. I then found the back entrance into the cafe into the clinic. The, again, this is just a very quick update of what I've done. This was very, very recently. This only happened to me yesterday. I managed to beat this hunter that was up hot here, and this is where he shot me from. You would not believe how tough he was. Well, you probably would. He was so tough. He is the toughest person I have faced so far because of his speed. He was so quick. It was scary. Now these are the bosses in the Chalice Labyrinth. This is the first one that allows me to get down to the second floor. And then this is me beating the final boss of the second floor. Now I don't know if I have to do this for an achievement or not. If I'm being honest, I didn't notice anyone. I didn't notice any titles of of them that read that way. But I got another chalice there, and I am at the final boss on the bottom chalice. So I'm not sure, and I can't beat him yet. It's very very tough. I haven't been able to beat him. But this is something I spotted because I was travelling back up to see if the doorway opened if, because I, I've got loads of items I don't know what some of them do and I thought if one of the items might open the door because that's how this game tends to work so I went up in the lift and I spotted a hole now at this point in the game I had noticed that if there's a hole you can probably get in it so I did so I'm, I'm like, okay, now every time i found like a hole, it has given me a new outfit or a bloodstone that's quite high. I think my highest bloodstone is seven at the moment. And I have that equipped. That's one I use a lot. So I came in here and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm in the main cathedral. It's interesting. Wasn't even aware you could get up here. I get that. And I get a new achievement. Again, one I wasn't expecting. An extremely precious rune. I hadn't realised that that's what that was, to be honest. Or that it was even there. So I go to have a look at it. And frankly, it's very nice. So you see, it gives me maximum bullets plus four. But I, haven't, I can't equip it yet, and I'm not sure why. So I need to still get what that is. But I was wandering around the forest and I died. This is where I'm at of the game. I was wandering around the forest and I died. 
expecting to be respawned back at a, la at a light, at a torch. And this kicked in, so I started recording it. Because I wasn't sure what was happening. And suddenly I'm in the unseen village. What's this? I'm in a, in, I'm in a dungeon. I don't know where I am. But I'm going to leave the video on Elvis's corpse. Um, it's one of the funniest things I've seen in the game. Um, it clearly thinks he's Elvis. He's clearly a big Elvis fan. And that's where I am. I am in a prison. I don't know how, why I'm there. I don't know where that is. I hadn't been to that village before. I think it might be one of the paths off the cathedral. But I still haven't really gone down that way yet. Um, but that's my update. See you later, Elvis. As you can see, from these all the achievements that I have, I think from going from zero, um, I've definitely come a long way. And uh, some I wasn't expecting. I knew I would beat a few of these bosses. But I am currently at... There are one or two bosses that I'm at currently that I am trying to beat. So if I'm able to, to beat those, that'll be just another two achievements, I think. I don't know if every boss has a trophy, but currently they all have had so far. Like the main bosses. So, yeah, it's coming along nicely. The story is coming along very nicely. I am level 39 and my axe is plus six and I just don't have the right items to upgrade the axe anymore so we will try and find some of those next time so thank you all for watching I am coming along very very nicely on my 100% challenge and I will I am going to do this and before we get our next lot of games thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week